Thousands of people signed petition calling for justice for AK. The petition, which was started by a woman named Lee Lowen and is addressed to the KwaZulu-Natal Police Commissioner, Lieutenant General Nalandalam Kwanazi, the National Police Commissioner, General Fanny Miss Mola, and Police Minister Biki Sila, expresses the sentiments of a large number of South Africans who are frustrated with the levels of crime in the country. Last month, AKA was shot and killed outside of the Wish restaurant on Florida Road. His longtime friend and former manager, Tabelo Tibbs Matson, was also among those who perished in the disaster. Lee Love describes how a hitman entered their home and fired multiple shots at her father in the petition that she has submitted. My own father, in contrast to AKA, had to suffer the unimaginable anguish of being aware of what was taking on to him. While the assassin pursued him through the house, the victim, who was reportedly bleeding and may have been losing breath, made an attempt to escape to another one of the residence's rooms. As my father was trying to phone an unanswered emergency number, he had run into one of the rooms and he shot through the door of that room. The hitman went in and shot him, hitting him with another round while he was trying to fight the hitman off in some unknown way. My father finally gave in to the exhaustion brought on by the loss of blood. After he had fallen to the ground, three additional shots were fired at him. The next time I saw my father, he was lying in the emergency room of a hospital with blood pouring down his neck and bullet holes all over his body, Lilo recalled. She stated that despite her father's survival of the shooting, he developed quadriplegia and died of kidney failure three years after the incident. He never saw justice done in his life, and he passed away a very miserable man, despite the fact that the police have been given justification statements from the suspects. All that was left for us was the heartbreaking recollection of his final three years, a young woman who was raising her three small children by herself, and the case number of yet another South African cold case, Lilo stated. Lilo argued that justice should be carried out. How many more of our brothers, sisters, fathers, and mothers need to be needlessly deaf before those responsible for these atrocities are brought to justice? Is it going to be your grandfather, your great uncle, or perhaps your sibling or your son next? Will he be deaf after going to the convenience store to get a loaf of bread, or would it be his last act, she stated? Seal stated earlier this week that he receives regular updates on the probe into the murder. That is an issue that we cannot put to bed and forget about. We are unable, for obvious reasons, to provide you with minute-by-minute -minute updates on the situation, but be assured that progress is being made.